Hi, so one of the things I kind of glossed over in the main video is with the construction of the grate. Because uh, my intention was to use a colander like it recommended in the FEMA book. But when I got the colander and sawed it off, actually I thought it looked really poor. It's kind of wimpy and kind of trashy looking. Just didn't like it. Plus, where do I get my welding experience? So what I decided to do was make the grate from scratch. And it's sitting right here. It's um, some one and a half uh, centimetre bar metal welded in uprights and I've got some six millimetre rod that I'm going to weld in a grid pattern and then that is going to go at the bottom of here to be the grate. So let's get on and do a little bit more welding shall we? So having welded my grid bars into place, obviously what I need is something to hang it. And I have a whole load of this really chunky chain that Luke donated. So what I'm doing is sewing a cut in the chain, so it'll go through these holes, leaving me a bit of chain with a bit of cutting. I can crimp that together and put a spot weld on that. And when I've welded those chains on, then they dangle really quite nicely to the plate, because that's where the grate is going to sit. Now obviously I need something to attach them to the plate. FEMA recommend um, bolts. But actually I don't like that because you drill a hole and then of course you've got a hole in which it can leak so you've got to seal it again so that's a bit of a pain. So what I did was took some remnants of the bar that I made the actual grate with, so this bit of bar, and with a um, piece of pipe as a former I bent some hooks over. So I've made four hooks, marked them where they need to be positioned and what I'm going to do obviously is weld those hooks into position. So let's do that. And then I weld those other three hooks on. When I've welded on those hooks, obviously the chain's attached to them. And when I turn it upside down, this will hang off those hooks at the right distance, which is a few centimetres from the bottom of the pipe. Like I said, I did gloss over this because I was thinking of using the um, colander. Really didn't like it. Much happier with this. It's more in keeping with the kind of chunky industrial look that we've got going on here. Obviously, it's not hooked on when we put this together. It gets hooked on after this has been fitted. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.